Hey guys, you are watching Tesla Automation Series and today I am going to show you how to inspect an element using Chrome DevTools. We will also look at an extension which is used to create the XPath and to test the XPath. But the main focus of my video is to make you people good to create your own XPath rather than rely on third party extension. All right. So the so to do automation, you should follow two steps. The first step is to find an element, and the second step is to perform action on that element which you have find in step one. So the step one is really really important. So let's get started. I am on Google.com page, and if I want to inspect the search field, so can I, I, I can either inspect that search field by right click and click on inspect. So it will open the Dev Chrome tools or I can click on the top right corner icon and then more tools and then developer tools. All right. So you can see the tabs in the developer tools like elements, console, sources, network and performance. So in elements you can see the document object model and you can see different HTML tags in that element tab. All right. So if I want to inspect the search field, so I click on arrow icon and then click on that element. So you can see that the input tag is highlighted and you can see different properties with the input tag. All right. So this is the time of creating our own XPath. So press the control and F key on Windows and command and F keys on Mac to open the input box where we will write our own XPath. So type double slash input angle brackets so I'm, I'm inspecting that element with the ID. So at the rate of ID equal to single quotes and within single quotes, I will put the value of ID, which you can see that. And why, when I press enter, you can see that the input tag is highlighted and it shows one of one. What is me, what it mean is that this is a unique node so in test automation you must need unique node in test scripts otherwise result will be incorrect so in the same way you can uh, inspect any element you want so let me show you the example of multiple nodes so i am i just uh, change the id with the class uh, sorry now you can see that class and put that value all right so hit enter all right, you can see that uh, the class has three nodes. So, so you can see that we cannot use such elements which have multiple nodes. All right, guys. So we can reconfirm our X bar whether it is correct or not. So we can confirm it by console. So type dollar sign x 
small brackets double quotes and then enter double slash input angle brackets at the rate of id equal to single quotes and here I put that value and hit enter so guys you, you have seen that it shows only one node so this is perfect for automation we can use that element for our automation scripts all right so guys this is the time to show you uh, the extension which we will use uh, to uh, create or uh, find our xpath so let's click on top icon go on more tools and then click on extensions and then open the chrome web store and type renorex solacity this is the extension which we will use later all right i have already installed that extension and you can add it to the browser all right once added let's go back to the page and then open that developer tools once you open that you can see that extension right below so click on that option here you can see different list of selectors which you can use so you can use CSS XPath and RxPath this is not uh, for us so we can use both CSS or XPath and it has already created the XPath for us so let's type your XPath double slash input angle brackets at the rate of id equal to and then put the value for example all right so click enter so guys you have seen that the input uh, tag is highlighted and it is also highlighted in the DOM and it shows only one node you can see that alright guys you have seen that how good that extension is you can create your own xpath and test whether it is correct or not uh, it will also give you some suggestions about the XPath. So practice a lot and this is the only key to success and that's it. So, so subscribe our channel and see you in the next lecture. Thank you.